Hello and welcome to Scoop News Group series on the new business of government. I'm Jake Williams. I'm here today with James Graham. He's the GIS and Application Manager for the District of Columbia's Department of Transportation. James, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. So James, agencies have more data than ever before. Uh, how easy or hard is it for decision makers to get to and to make sense of all of that data? Well, it's true. We are a much more data-driven and uh, data-focused agency than we were in the past. Um, and there's always a risk of um, having too much data. There's a, a quote that someone said that I like, where you're drowning in data but starving for answers. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a struggle that we have to contend with. But um, as we continue to move forward, uh, we find ways to integrate these different data stacks to make more nuanced contextual information. That's great. And, and what are some of the challenges that, that DDOT faces when executing on planning, budgeting, and forecasting some of the activities? Really, the, the major challenge is integrating all of those to one coherent application. And uh, because they are all related to each other, one hands off to the other, and then oftentimes they hand back to each other. Um, so the key is, is to try and leverage technology to the extent that you can to make sure that you have uh, a coherent workflow to where all the applications are talking to each other and no one's left wondering who is next in the process. Hmm. And can you talk a little bit more about how your agency is helping managers make more data-driven decisions? You said you're a data-driven agency more than ever before. Mm -hmm. uh, how, are the, how are you guys helping managers make data-driven decisions around budget allocations, mission readiness, and program services to your core, core customers? Right. So for the District of Columbia, our core customers are the residents of the District of Columbia. And we, uh, we owe it to them to give them the best possible roads and assets within the public space. And um, a key component of that is just making sure not only that we have a more data-driven approach, but also that the data that our management needs, our staff and line supervisors need, is that it's available constantly 24 hours a day. And so if you have field staff that have data available to them, they're constantly connected to the operation in a way that makes them more nimble, more agile, and they could respond to the public in a more efficient way. Hmm. It's fascinating. And last question, you know, how is your agency working to put data into the hands of more decision makers to make day-to-day -day decisions, not just in the hands of analysts or senior management? Right. So for, for DDOT, GIS or Geographic Information Systems is a core component of most of everything that we do. And so making sure that not only we have projects mapped, but we have all of our assets mapped. And if we have those items mapped, we, we have the ability to gain nuanced intelligence about what's going on in the neighborhood. Um, are, are we detecting certain patterns and, and trends? And so um, that's something that's not just relevant for a manager or an executive. It's relevant for everyone throughout the entire stack of DDOT. And um, to the extent that we can, we also like to share that view with the public. And um, we're not all the way there yet, but we're striving to get more enabled, more publicly focused mm -hmm. web services that the public can leverage and then ask questions of us where we're all looking at the same picture. And so it's one version of the truth, not only for internally, but also for the public as well. That's outstanding. That's a really cool idea. And I know some of the services that you're talking about that are public facing and they're really exciting. So mm -hmm. James, thanks for being with us and thanks for offering your thoughts here today. You're welcome. For more on what James is working on at DDOT, check out Scoop News Group's websites. I'm Jake Williams with Scoop News Group here with James Graham, the, the GIS and Applications Manager for the District of Columbia's Department of Transportation. Thanks for watching.